What's good? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Diverse. Finishing up part two of where I left off. Um, my rap story, my hip-hop story, documentary coming soon. You dig? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Straight out of Memphis. Y'all see the hat, you know what I'm saying? You know where I'm from. You know what it is. Yo, <clears throat> so picking up where I left off. So, boom. Um... I believe I left off around the point where um, 2016, I went to the rap seminar. It's called the Music Symposium, the Music Master Symposium, Music Master Symposium Seminar. So, yeah, <clears throat> I was invited by Renata Romain, which is a renowned speaker, renowned uh, radio host um, for Sirius XM. Um, she stepped down now, though, um, from what I've heard from... Um, from other sources, but she stepped down as far as her position um, at Sirius XM. You know what I mean? But uh, for you can definitely Google her name, Renata Romaine, and you'll definitely see numerous interviews she's done with um, a ton of um, the great artists that we know today. Great artists and um, actress, actresses and actors. Um, as well, so yeah, definitely check that out. Um, salute to Miss Renata Romaine, uh, definitely. But yeah, so <clears throat> I was re I was invited to the Music uh, Master Symposium in 2016. Me and um, numerous of other artists and um, entrepreneurs and DJs and uh, managers and things of that nature. You know what I mean? So yeah, so we were invited to the uh, Music Master Symposium. Um, definitely was a great experience. We got the, um, we got a actual video chat or well, not a video chat, but like a, uh, we got Skyped. If anybody know anything about Skype, we got Skyped into a conversation with David Banner and, um, YG from California. You know what I'm saying? David Banner, everybody should know David Banner. You know what I'm saying? If you involved in hip hop or you know anything about rap or hip hop, you definitely should know David Banner. Salute to those um, gentlemen. But, um, yes, definitely got a chance to um, just um, enjoy the good graces of getting knowledge from um, elite um, officials in the rap industry. As far as DJs and um, um, A&Rs and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So... So, um, yeah, so it definitely was a um an atmosphere of learning. I definitely um and also what Miss Renata did as well, she um of course she had the buffet, she had a whole buffet laid out for all the artists and everybody that was a part of that situation. Like she really put time, energy. Like like just to look at business and the strategic flow of how to how um how to um be a service to people that you're trying to help it was just a brilliant mindset that you had to have to be able to conduct that type of situation and um i want to say also on a side note my lights might go out so i might have to open my car door and um turn them back on so if they go out so i'm just letting you know but anyway so yeah so it it definitely was a um she definitely had a mindset of of how to conduct business it definitely was something that you had to have sat down and and thought about and wrote down each way and 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 brainstormed on something so big and then took the big characteristics out that you can use to use it definitely was just strategic because <clears throat> we artists i'm an artist from nowhere like i'm from i'm from um i'm from memphis tennessee we you can to be honest, we not just really nowhere because like we one of the biggest cities on the map, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? We know renowned for the pyramid. We know we're renowned for the Mississippi River that flows through the pyramid, which is kind of symbolic of the Nile River. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of characteristics that we carry as a city that people don't really pay attention to the to the um history that we have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rest in peace to Martin Luther King, one of the biggest legendary speakers 
and activists that we ever had in, in this country, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? That died in this city, that that sacrificed himself in he, in this city. You know what I'm saying? So we have a lot of uh, huge history, especially for me coming from here. But um, back to what I was saying, like, so, you know, to be able to reach out to these different cities and states and help these artists is a huge, like, helpful gratitude, like, just to reach out and <clears throat> say, hey, I want you to, I, mean, I want to invite you to this space to where you can network and be able to level up your game. You know what I'm saying? It was just an awesome thing that they did. So I just want to um, really um, say salute to that situation. But anyway, so so she invited all different type of artists from all different type of angles, from all different type of states, cities, um, genres of music to this situation in um, New York, Manhattan. And so we get there, and, and when I walk in, <clears throat> it's this huge table full of food, buffet style out i'm talking about like so laid out like you would have thought you you felt like like i felt like royalty like i'm pretty sure i don't know about everybody else i can't speak for them but i felt like genuine i felt really genuine like i felt like whoever prepared this was really you know what i'm saying they cared about the culture they wanted you to be successful you know what i'm saying they wanted you to feel successful. They wanted you to feel that your dream or whatever goal that you had in your mind to prosper was going to come into fruition. You know what I mean? So this was very unique. It was a very unique style. Table laid out. Then we come into the conference room where the chairs are that all the artists sit. Gift bags all on the table. You know what I'm saying? Gift bags, hats, notepads. You know what I'm saying? Custom made for that event. Like, this was really business thought out. <clears throat> I'm looking at it right now. Excuse me, my voice. Excuse me, y'all. I got to clear my throat. You know what I'm saying? It's cold out here or whatever. But anyway, yeah. So it's like really thought out and strategic, like, on some business level type, a type of thinking. But anyway, speed up. So, boom. <clears throat> we in a room. We listen, We listening. I'm listening to all the A&Rs. DJ Dallas Green, Money Net, DJ um A and R Money Nails, and Sergeant Q from Sergeant Q Radio um on Hip Hop Nation and Sirius XM, they got their own little segment on there and all that. So these are heavy hitters in the game. These are people that's actually put in time and work and met with numerous of successful artists that we all see today that put them into play, put them into power, put their stuff in rotation, um, sign them, actually. You know what I'm saying? So DJ Money Nails, he was involved with Eminem and the 50 Cents and all the people that came up under that um, that umbrella on the West Coast. Um, not, say, um, not just saying specifically the West Coast, but everybody that came under that, that um, um, what's the name of that label? Um... Man, I wish I could have some help right now. Um, it's the record label on the West Coast. Everybody knows it. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, what's the name of the label? Anyway, Jimmy Iovine is the um, co um, co CEO of it. You know what I'm saying? So um, it'll come to me in a minute. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah. So any so Money Nails was connected to that that crew. He was giving store giving us stories about Eminem and Fifty Cent coming up, leading up into the game and <clears throat> the things that it took them to to um, overcome certain avenues and certain situations in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So what I did was <clears throat> I'm from Memphis. So the sh the seminar was in Manhattan. I booked the hotel in in Brooklyn. So I'm all the way in Brooklyn. The um seminar is in Manhattan. 
I literally got to adapt to where I am automatically. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking I'm I'm not moving how New Yorkers move, like how Brooklyn moves. I'm not on that time. I just I'm fresh from Memphis. Fresh off the plane. You know what I'm saying? So I immediately have to adapt to um this ain't just the little map co up the street or the little Esk Mart or the Q Mart or something like that up the street. Nah, this is like a bodega. This is something different. You know, this this is not just A Rip. This is like A Rip people that own it. This is like, you know, um Filipino people that own these joints and in, you know, uh different ethnicities ethnicity ethnicities. Um, ethnicities. I can't even get my F my F out. My mouth so dry. Don't laugh at me, y'all. <laughs> Ethnicity, ethnic, eth, I can't, I'm not even from the, um, you know what I mean, though. Different type of people, you dig? So, it's, yeah, so it's different type of people or whatever. And, um, so I remember going in and, like, like, I remember I told y'all on, on part one where I went in the subway, tried to get a pizza, and they was like, we don't sell pizza here. You know what I'm saying? That we sold that years ago. So I'm late on stuff. I'm not understanding that actually in the South, it's, slower than it would be up north things are quicker and more qu faster up there but actually being in the mix you you start to learn it you know what i'm saying you start to understand but um i was only there for like two or three days you know what i'm saying i wasn't even there long but just that amount of days um my first night i booked the hotel i didn't go to sleep i stayed up all night I got. I went downstairs, went and got in the subway, and took the subway to Times Square. So I'm in Manhattan at night, by myself, walking the city, going in different clubs. Went in one club, went all the way to the back, sat there, sat back there by myself, drinking the Corona, just enjoying my own vibe, just taking in the moment with myself. Like, damn, I'm. And me, I'm from Memphis. I flew here on a plane in the middle of January. A blizzard just came. I'm out here in the cold by myself in New York. I'm feeling like home alone, nigga. I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? McCully cucking, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm in the joint like, damn, like, I'm here in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on some other shit. Like, I literally, to be honest, like, it was such a, a breed, a, a time that went so fast that it's, like, hard to understand the moment that I was in and actually trying to relive it and think about it and um just collect the same kind of heart that I had. Because it take mad gohanas to, like, go out there by yourself and still be on a schedule and still be consistent taking the subway moving and grooving moving tra transporting how you got to transport buying what you need it's the middle of january so it's cold you got snow up to your shoulders and you looking around and so what i'm so so my journey was and what's what i'm gonna what i'm gonna end up showing you guys is i actually got footage of the whole 2016 trip so i'm walking around in brooklyn at night, getting lost. This never could have happened in the 70s or 80s or early 90s or none of that. I automatically know that it really probably couldn't even happen now. Not even checking in, not really checking in, which I should have checked in, but I didn't know anybody to check in with. But I did get up with uh, a few cats in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, when I was staying there to learn how shit moved and um, got up with some links out there, you know what I'm saying? So one of my guys in Brooklyn, he got a son, he rapped, but I'll get into that later, whatever. But anyway, so yeah, so it's like just the adapting to the situation in New York was just a different kind of kind of culture for me to to learn, you know what I'm saying, and conceive. Cause you're not in the South no more. You're not in you're not in Memphis no more. I got a view of the Hudson River on this block. When I turn on this block, I'm living I'm staying in my hotel is on Prospect Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Right next to the damn, I'm on the, I'm on Prospect Avenue, like 23rd or 20-something. And um, 
by the Best Western. Anybody in Brooklyn know where that's at. Um, and then right there next to the um, subway. So I could just hop on the train and just go wherever I want. So I ended up going to Manhattan at night. Um, my first night there in New York. And I had to go see Times Square. You, automat you already know. So I had to go down to Times Square. So I went down there to Times Square, took a train down there by myself, got out on the subway, went through the tunnels. And it's just a different atmosphere. You know, you, you learn to to love. Like, I really loved my experience. Like, I love Memphis, too, to be my home. But I really, like, enjoy. You only see this type of stuff on the movies unless you actually been to New York and understand the culture. But just being from, not from there and just being new, I guess it's like, man, it was just wow you know what i'm saying i was just amazed you know what i mean and just walking through Times square by myself um taking pictures asking people to um you know um could they take a picture for me whatever and just just doing my thing moving and grooving networking and just you know what i'm saying prior to the day that i go to the meeting so i'm actually in the culture in the city I'm not just staying in one spot. I'm moving in the city. I'm walking around. I'm meeting up with people and, you know what I'm saying, just networking or whatever. So speed up to the um, the seminar. The next day, I get pressed up in my hotel, get all my things, get everything I need. You know what I'm saying? I'm suited up, booted up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so she had everything laid out, out for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, gift bags, the whole nine. And um, so um, going through the the seminar, talking to different producers, different people that's working with certain people, Sergeant Q, they um, they are um, world-renowned, you know what I'm saying, DJs on Sirius XM. And um, you can tune in probably right now to the Sergeant Q show, right now on Sirius XM radio right now. If you got a, a car with a satellite radio or whatever like that in there, and uh, so yeah, so just learning from them and just sitting in the, in the um seminar. I'm sitting in the front row, just soaking up game, taking notes, um, doing whatever I can. So it got to a certain point in the seminar where she let artists perform and she asked who had their music, and I was just so anxious. I had my little USB, and I'm just so anxious to get my music heard and all that. And uh, I didn't get a chance at that time. Um, other artists actually got a chance to um perform, which was really cool. You know what I'm saying? It's artist from um Atlanta. I forget his name. Um, um, but really a dope artist. I can look him up. Um, but really a dope artist or whatever. And uh, yeah. So, uh, 